Hi guys, today is another appetizer recipe and this one is the last one of um, this kind of short series that I did this month and I'm not going to share um, an appetizer recipe on a weekly basis as I did but this is definitely not going to be my last appetizer recipe. So to finish this small series I wanted to make something really really delicious and so today we are making chicken pineapple skewers so let's get started I have all my spices here so I'm gonna just shortly go through them uh, the salt and then some dried onion powder garlic powder then some garam masala but you can uh, leave this um, off and just substitute with a second teaspoon of um, smoked paprika which I have here then I have some curry um, a spicy curry slightly spicy curry but you could also add in a little bit of cayenne pepper or chili if you like it a little spicy and then I have my thyme of course <laughs> because I um, yeah cannot live without the time so now we are just gonna kind of mix all the spices and it looks so beautiful on a plate and we are just gonna add in enough olive oil to mix the spice as well so I'm gonna start with one tablespoon and you just want to kind of add it to your spices and start mixing it in so you can see right away it's not gonna be enough so in we go with a second tablespoon and this is gonna be enough so it doesn't need to be like really liquid like it just needs to uh, be enough for the spices to kind of all get combined then I have uh, my uh, chicken breast pieces here so I'm using about 500 grams um, two big breasts chicken breasts and I have cubed them into these kind of bite size pieces I just uh, used my pineapple pieces as um, kind of the guidelines so just a tiny bit bigger than the pineapple pieces and now I'm just gonna add in my spice mix and then you just want to mix it in well with your hands to cover all of the pieces with the spices and then once you have all of your pieces nicely covered and the spices evenly mixed you want to leave this aside for about 30 minutes you can also marinate overnight if you want I'm just gonna marinate for the 30 minutes now and also in the meantime if you're using wooden skewers you can soak those also for 30 minutes which will stop them from burning in the oven so then after 30 minutes we have the chicken here and the soaked skewers and I also have my pineapple chunks and also I have a uh, baking tray here covered with parchment paper so now we can start making our skewers so depending on how much you want to have um, of the pineapple there you can add one piece of chicken and then a piece of pineapple or you can also um, add two pieces of chicken and then one piece of pineapple So like this and then just pop it over the parchment paper Thank you. 
And then when you have your skewers ready, you want to bake them according to the recipe. And in the meantime, while my chicken is baking, I'm gonna prepare um, the glaze. So I have about two tablespoons of honey there and I'm just gonna squeeze in a little bit of fresh lime juice, about half of a lime. I'm just squeezing in the juices and then also adding in about a tablespoon of pineapple juice and just gonna mix it all if it's hard for you to mix it in so if the honey doesn't mix in with um, the juices what you can do is just shortly heat the mix in a microwave but don't make it hot so only heat it shortly to kind of combine the honey if it doesn't combine already at this point point. and then once your chicken skewers have baked they're fresh and hot out of the oven you want to brush them with your glaze mainly just the chicken And then you can serve them with a dip of your choice. I'm gonna make a really simple yogurt dip with a little bit of fresh garlic and seasoned with salt and pepper. So this is a really simple recipe, it's quick to put together and it's no hassle recipe because you just pop the chicken skewers in the oven and leave them to bake in the oven. So I personally really love this kind of recipes and I also hope that you are gonna like this one. Um, I think this is a perfect appetizer, obviously. <laughs> because that's how the video is called but I also think that it's a great uh, side um, to uh, rice or to some potatoes or to salad so you can make this also for lunch or dinner I think it's really perfect for all of those as well and of course if you're enjoying these appetizer recipes please let me know in the comments below so uh, then I will try to share them on a more regular basis if you don't tell me then obviously I won't know and <laughs> I probably won't make as many so it really pays to let me know if you like this video don't forget that thumbs up for support and if you're new to my channel then you can subscribe right now and if you tap the bell you won't miss any of my new videos thank you for watching my video Bye bye until next time.